So I like in the theater, that's where we are. It's, uh, it's actually uh, the perfect combination of uh, elegance, lightness, and also our character. And um, so the Etron really react really like uh, is uh, dancing uh, in the middle of the scene. With the Etron, we don't do any compromises. It's still a true Audi. It's a lot of comfort, sportivity, dynamic, and of course, a lot of uh, fun to drive. For designer, we are really happy to have a lot of freedom and the, the Etron was really a very nice uh, car to, to design. So this interior is really unique. We don't have this Quattro tunnel. So it means we have a lot of space and we could use really this freedom to create this really light element. It's even breakthrough, so it's really uh, bring all the, the tech layer really high and um, bring a lot of lightness in the city. Yeah. The difference of uh, our 3D premium sound system from Bang & Olufsen is that we break the walls of our small car cabin because we can reproduce a concert hall in our car. For this 3D sound experience, you have to develop a special algorithm. We did this together with Fraunhofer Institute, the inventor of the MP3 algorithm. And uh, this algorithm is looking inside the piece, the recorded piece. And if we find some information about the room where this music piece was recorded, we perfectly reproduce this in our car. The effort to develop the sound system in an Audi, especially in an Audi Aton, is huge. Uh, we cannot take uh, standard pieces and just put it into the car. We have really to make a tailor fit system, especially the sound system tuning at the end of the process is very crucial and important. The biggest challenge is that we have no combustion engine and that the wind noise and the, the road noise is much more in focus for the passenger and therefore we had to develop a very special acoustic concept. The experience for the passenger of the all new Audi e-tron is a very quiet and very comfortable car. Especially in the city you have no disturbing vibrations and a very quiet acoustic What do we have here? Um, coupled with two cameras on the exterior of the car, these two beautifully curved 7-inch OLED displays show me the rear view mirror of the car. Um, why would we do that? Well, first it, re it re reduces coefficient drag, the aerodynamic co coefficient drag, by up to 10%. And second, we can detect what you do as a driver and can show you exactly what you need. What would that be? For example, if you go on the motorway, the car detects that you're going above 90 kilometers an hour and shows you further back. So it zooms backwards so that you can see what happens behind you on the motorway. Or the other way, you park in behind, um, you can switch the cameras and move them below uh, so that, that you can see the curbs so that they don't scratch your wheels anymore. What's next? The angle is bigger than before, so you can see more than on a conventional, mi conventional mirror, and it's just beautifully awesome to use. So what can I do? Um, I can tap on it, I can switch to the other side, and I can switch to the MMI to see the different views that I showed you before.